Hey everyone, it's Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel. In a minute, yes, that I have posted here on my YouTube channel, but I felt like, you know what, it is time to get back to creating and sharing information, sharing inspiration with you guys. So I hope that this video does that for you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing before you leave. I do budget related videos and I also am going back to the process of sharing how I create printables so that way you can possibly sell them on your Etsy shop or Shopify or your website, whatever you have and earn a little extra. But also if you cannot afford purchasing items from other people's Etsy shops, I know they can be a little bit costly. And if you don't have a sinking fund set aside for supporting small businesses and you really don't have that extra money to purchase these things, then you can definitely make it for yourself for personal use and save a little bit. So if you are interested to see what I have to share with you guys, you see the title of the video, I'll be showing you how you can create your own cash slip. If you don't know what this is, it is just prop money. So I have this right here. It's a thousand dollar bill. I'm not going to show you how to make this one here, but something a little bit different. I wanted to just share a different spin on creating prop money. So what prop money is, you have this fake money that represents physical cash that you have in your bank account. So throughout the year, you are setting money aside in your budget every week, every payday for a specific purpose. And if you don't know what sinking funds is, I do have a video, I believe that breaks it down. I made it a little while ago. I'll try to remember to link it for you guys, but essentially what it is, it's a category or an event, something that you are saving for that you know is happening, that is coming up in the near future or in a couple of years, but you're just wanting to set a little bit money aside for a trip, for holidays, birthday, etc. When we withdraw the cash and we go ahead and we stuff our sinking funds envelopes, you don't want to carry all of that cash at home. There are many benefits for you to keep money in the bank account, like earning in interest and it's safer. So I definitely recommend for you to maybe unstuff, review your envelopes and see what cash you have on hand because it is definitely safer for you to keep that money in the bank and you can use prop money in your envelopes to represent what you physically have in the bank account. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Canva. That is the software that I'm using, the website that I'm using that I love and that is free for you to use. So I definitely recommend for you to go ahead and sign up for Canva. I'm going to be using it on my desktop because it's just easier for me to create on there. I'm gonna show you the dimensions and everything step-by-step step on how you can create your own cash slip to print out and put it in place of your envelope. So let's go ahead, let me share my screen and we're gonna to get to it. All right, you guys, so we have the screen recording going. You can see that I am in Canva right now. I personally have the pro version, which is the paid for version. It allows me different tools and allows me to be able to uh, make transparent backgrounds, but you can totally make this on the free version. So as you can see right over here, I have, um, a document that is titled 100 because this is the placeholder that I had created and actually sent out in a newsletter. So I have different elements here. I have a little phrase. It's a scripture that really touches my heart and I wanted to include that on my placeholder. So we're going to make something like this. And I think what I want to do is make a, a $500 um, placeholder because why not? So let's first um, open up a new uh, document. So right over here on the right hand side, it says create a design. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And then we want to have it be a custom size because I only want us to focus on one particular um, placeholder and then we'll be able to duplicate it to add it to a whole PDF and I'll show you that a little bit later. So we're going to click custom size and we do want to keep it on pixels. Now 
the pixels that I had used that worked really well on that 100 placeholder was 3900 by 1679. 3900 by 1679. And I'm just going to label this um, 500 cash slip. That way we have that. Okay, so this is our blank canvas, you guys. Um, this is where you can be creative. Maybe you want to add a background color. I'm just going to keep this very simple because it's only going to be for me. I do not have an Etsy shop any longer that is open. There are many reasons why um, I had shared it in a Instagram post. Um, so follow me over on Instagram if you're not already and I give you updates on life events and things going on but this is going to be for personal use you guys and um, i also want to give a disclaimer that if you ever create something that is from a de demonstration that i share and if it's exactly how i share it um, i don't necessarily get upset but i'd appreciate credit where credit is due as i always give credit where credit is due um, you never want to like fully copy someone because it's just it's not very nice <laughs> all right so first thing it this can be however you want wherever your creativity lies however you want your place holder to look like you can go crazy with this and choose whatever font that you want so um, over here there's different templates but they may not know what you're trying to do, right? These are just pre-made templates for whatever. But one thing that I do like is borders and things like this. So you can click this and then you can even, um, if, you want, if you wanted a border, you can change the background for this. You can change it to like a gray um, and then you could even get rid of these um, florals because you don't need that but I just want to give you an idea of what something that you can do and since this is a box I do want my background to be white so you can just have it be something like that you can um, make the edges a little bit skinnier um, if you wanted and we could just adjust it so it's centered so it could be something like that I think that that looks pretty good and now we want to go ahead and add our number and let's see we can go ahead and search elements maybe there's a element that says 500 um and do 500 dollars all right i think we're just going to go ahead and just type it out so there's a couple of ways that you can use text you can use your keyboard and just click the t and it will automatically populate text or on the left hand side over here you can just click where it says text and then you can just add a subheading or whatever or you can choose what font you want so for this i'm actually thinking i want more of this outline look so we're going to click that and we're going to type in 500 Okay, so we can make this large, can change the color so I can put it on the edges, make this black, and then we, maybe we could duplicate this to put it on all corners, and then we can go ahead and click both of them and make another copy, so you just can click and then you can just um, shift and click again and copy and then you can right click and paste and then we can just put it on four corners like this again you can be however creative you want for this um, but there's one thing that I want to add and it's an effect so when you click on the text you can click effects and then you can add in a shadow or this glitch. So you see how it has that color on the background. Um, 
you can change the offset so that it looks bigger. Um, I don't know exactly what I want, but you can just change it up that way. You can choose neon, splice, um, a shadow. You could just, again, play around however you see fit. So for this, I do like more of like a um, neutral uh, aesthetic to match my 100 envelope, or envelope, my 100 cash slip. So I'm just gonna choose a light um, color. And I actually think I'm gonna change this border and we're just going to um, have it be the white. So I'm gonna delete this background and we're gonna delete the color and we're just gonna have it be plain old white. So I do like how that is, it's very subtle, but I think I want it to be just a bit darker. Yeah, so I like that. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. Effects, we chose splice, and it was this color. Okay, so we can do it for all four. Okay, so we have the 500 there. Um, so you can do that. Um, we can add in some lines or arrows. I think I wanna make something a little bit different and we're gonna do arrows. But I want it to be, yes, this one. I have this vision in my mind right now. Let's see, I think, yeah, that's a pretty good one. Oh, this one is good too. Ooh, let's see. This one is, hmm, which one do we like better? Or this one? I think I like the first one. So we're gonna stick with this. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just duplicate this. And then we're gonna group it. So what I do is I'm gonna drag, highlight this image and drag to the other one so you have both of them selected and then you can group them. Now I can duplicate it. Duplicate it again. And now I'm gonna ungroup that way I can just copy one of them, move it over, then I'm gonna crop. So that way I can just crop to there. Hmm. Or maybe I won't have that one. Just keep it like that. That looks perfect to me. We're gonna copy it, drag it to the bottom. Okay, so I think that looks good. I'm also going to copy this and move it to this side. I'm gonna copy this and move it to the other side. Again. Be as creative as you want. This is your cash slip, so it's whatever you wanna put on it, that's what you can do. Ooh, boho rainbow. So cute. All right, we can use you. You know what? Hold on. We're going to do elements and we're going to look for the frames. Oval. Oval frame. Going to have it black. And then under the elements, let's see. 
Look at how cute. Oh, this is working out like way better than what I thought. Let's move this down just a bit. Super cute. I think that's cute. <gasps> that one's cute too. We could change this. Oh, that's so cute. All right. So now we are going to add in the text. I just typed in T for text. And we're going to type in 500 dollars. And up here, you can see that we can adjust the spacing. So if I like this text, which actually I don't mind it, um, I'm going to adjust the letter spacing to space it out just a bit more. Yeah. Space it out a bit more. And then I'm going to change the font color to like a, hmm, let's actually use the blue. And then with the effects, let's see what we can do. Maybe a shadow and the intensity. I don't know. Oh, that's good. So I clicked echo and I changed the background color here. I chose black and I think that's better. But I think I want to change the color. Hmm. See, this is where you can just spend a lot of time and just focus on it too much. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Copied it, pasted it down. And now I'm going to go ahead and just type in prop money, play money. So I'm going to click T and we're just going to type in prop money. I'm going to change the font of this. Hmm. Right. I like that one. Letter spacing. Change the letter spacing for that. And this is paper flowers font. So, I want it to be on top of each other though. So you can have it be like that. I think I'm going to add an effect to this though. That's real cute. Sorry I'm not talking much, but when I get focused. All right, look at that. But we're gonna go ahead and just copy all of this and we're gonna paste it on the other side. Very different, but I, I love it. And I always like to add just a little something extra. So we're gonna go ahead and just add in a cross just because nothing can be done for me unless God is in it. So we're gonna move this to the front. And 
and we'll just put it a gray color. We're going to go ahead and just copy that and move it over here. And there you have it. You have your design. I love how this turned out. I think it turned out really cute. There's one last thing that I want to add, and that's a border. Since we didn't do the edging, um, I removed that. I'm gonna go ahead and search um, under elements, lines and shapes, and you just wanna click this box. It's just a basic, it's just a basic box, okay? And we're going to drag it all along the edge and expand it like this and change the color to black. All right, that is our border because when we copy the image and we paste it, we wanna make sure that when we cut, we'll be able to cut this edge. But I think that this turned out super fun. Again, you can make it however you want, however you want, okay? So now how do we export this? Once you are happy with your design, you're gonna go ahead and go up top right here where it says share. You're gonna click that, and then you're gonna click download. You wanna download it as a PNG, and you're gonna click download again. All right, once it's done, you're gonna go back to home, and then you're going to click uh, create a design, and it's just gonna be a standard worksheet, which is the eight and a half by 11 inches. So you have just your plain paper. And then we can go ahead and upload, upload the image. You click it and it goes right to the document. So I'm actually not gonna change the sizing of this. I think it should be okay. So we can fit three to the page. So all I'm gonna do is just highlight the image and then I'm gonna click duplicate and then I'm gonna click duplicate again, and then it just puts it to the bottom. So you see how there's those margins? Let me actually zoom this in so you can see what I'm talking about. So when I move this, you see how there's those, um, the highlight that pops up, right? It's like a pink um, or purple, what red, I, I can't tell, I'm colorblind apparently. <laughs> but you want to have it be about that size. So you're actually gonna expand that and have it be about that size. But that's where you want and that's how you want your sizing to be. To copy and paste. And then paste again. And there is our um, placeholder. So we have it on the worksheet and now we want to export it so that way we can print it. How do you do that? Same thing. You're going to click up here. It says share. You're going to click that. You're going to click download. But instead of a PNG, we want to download it as a PDF. So I like clicking PDF print a high quality. So we're going to click that and we're going to click download again. Now, when we open up our downloads, it's gonna look like this. So it's on a PDF, it has three to a page. That way when we print it out, um, you'll be able to cut this to size and use it as a placeholder. So let me actually show you how it looks like and how I size it, because sizing is everything. So you want to file and print. I'm on a MacBook, so this might be a little bit different for me. Uh, but just make sure that you have the entire image to print. So make sure that the print entire image is selected, not the entire page, because I think it will be a little bit too big for your envelopes. So keep it print entire image. And then I'm gonna go ahead and print that and I'll show you right now how it looks like. So I just printed it off and this is what it looks like. If you can see, oh, my printer is still. Um, this is what a typical thousand dollar money slip looks like that you can get, I think from like Amazon and the sizing is just a little bit smaller, but that's okay. It's still going to fit nicely. So all you have to do is just grab some scissors and get to cutting around the edges like so. Again, this is just for me. 
I just want to show you that you too can make your own placeholders. Okay, it doesn't have a back. You can always maybe create something similar like how we did with the sizing and make a back for it, glue it, tape it together if you do like a front and a back but I'm just gonna use just the front. And if you can see, this is what a typical placeholder looks like. And this is the one that we made. So you can see the difference. It's really not, not that much of a difference, but this is just gonna go inside representing your $500 that you have in the bank. Um, and I just hope that doing things like this and gets you excited to reach that point. Um, so that way you do have $500 saved for whatever you need. So that way you do have that first $100 saved towards your savings goal of whatever it is. Fill in the blank. I just hope that these videos inspire you and gets you creative, gets you excited for budgeting. If you are wanting to start up a business yourself selling things, just remember to give credit where credit is due. Do everything legally, no copywriting or anything like that because that's just stuff that you don't want to get into. If you have any other suggestions of what you'd like me to show how to create, then definitely let me know in the comments. I would love to show um, and not hide, like not keep the stuff that I have learned that I have found helpful for myself. I don't want to keep it to myself. I think it's great to share the information. The more the merrier. Um, we're here to just inspire each other. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe again if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys right here in a brand new video. Bye guys!